there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed project and today I am going to show you how to debone a whole chicken. This is skill level a little bit up from my video how to butcher a chicken where I showed you how to get chickens and break it down into breast drumsticks and thighs you know a great way to save money but if you want to do something really fancy with that little bit more skill boning a chicken stuff on it and rolling you know it's a fantastic end product and that is what we're going to do today. So I've got two chickens, so I can show you twice. Let's get and do this. Now, these are fantastic chickens. I know I've watched a lot of videos, especially the American videos. They all seem to be a bit wet, the chickens there. I don't know if they're brines. I mean, I don't know. But these are grade A North Norfolk British chickens. First thing I'm going to do then, if you have a look, that natural bend, I am just going to take... The wing off, I've got a trick up my sleeve for those, they'll come in a bit. So the same with the other side. Then I'm just gonna take them off just because I'm like that. Anyway, so what we need to do is turn our chicken upside down. And obviously you've got the backbone there, so I'm just gonna, one side of the backbone and the other side and none of this skin or carcass will be wasted. It will all go into stock. So, what you need to do is with a sharp knife, just gently work your way along the carcass, just down to, what should we say, the ass end. There's no good way of putting it. And if you look in there, that board joint where the wing joins the carcass and then the second joint we're looking for is there I'm just exposing the ball joints of the leg so just gently loosen it off and the trick with obviously bone in the chicken is you want to keep that skin intact for when you roll it up that side let's just show you again this side so just gently skimming taking that oyster in again through that leg joint and then along i mean i say skill level difficulty but if you just take your time it's pretty much simple just keeping that knife is the trick right up against the ribs as you're going down To the breast bone so believe it or not this is pretty much the chicken done so if I can just show you on the camera there there's that breast bone and the same with this side and the meat's coming away really easy just pull that carcass there's the wishbone now a good trick when you get to this stage is just pull your chicken out and there you have the main carcass taken out of your chicken and you're left as you can see no holes in the skin I'm going to square that off next I'm going to show you how to bone the wings so there's your wing just go down one side this bit a little bit fiddly there's only two little ones so do not worry I mean you can cut them completely off if you want to it's nothing to worry about they could go in stock or give them to your dog but just gently with the bone holding it turning it just getting that meat off watch your fingers and there you have a little wing bone. So let's bone out that thigh. So you 
can see the bone in there. Just go down the one side. Just basically with the point of your knife. And it just comes out perfect. Same with the other side. So just put your knife in and just gently follow that bone. Always turn the meat and not yourself. You know, you don't want to be dancing around it. Turn the meat, you know, and get comfortable with it. And then just through and you have another thigh bone. Right, a couple of ways you can do these drumsticks. You can tunnel bone them. So that's what I'm going to do, but you can go all the way down. I'm just exposing the bone by going round the top. Taking your time. And then pull the bone. You can pull it through. Cut it off. And there's your drumstick bone out. You just fold that back. Same with the other side. On the other one I will show you the easier way by just going through, going straight through the flesh. I want to try and keep this one whole so I can give you options of which way to do it. So again, pull the bone through, cut it off. And we just push that back through. And pretty much, there we have our boned out chicken ready for stuffing. So there's our first boned out chicken. And at that stage, it doesn't look anything special, but it is completely boneless. As you can see, you will, you'll be able to roll that up and stuff it if you're making a ballantine or a galantine. But we are going to stuff it. We're going to do it nice tie it up so there's number a one so I'll show you that again just take those drum tips off now this other method I'm going to show you the wing you can see the bend this time I'm going to take it completely off And then again, each side of the backbone. And none of this will be wasted. It makes a fantastic chicken stock. So now we've got rid of that wing joint. We haven't got to worry about it. So just gently trace it until you find again that leg joint. Just nip it out, and as you can see, just following that rib cage down again to the breastbone. Repeat with this side, so through that leg joint again, those ribs, just keeping your knife right up close. Start going down the breastbone. Now you can see it's just hanging on to the breastbone. So take it right up to the edge. And like before, ease that carcass away. Into stock again. Square up that skin. And then I'm going to show you how to bone those drumsticks out an easier way. So let's still get rid of that thigh bone by just following it around. There's one. I always feed my dog the raw chicken bones. Like I said in my other video, they, you know, 
cooked chicken bones aren't good for dogs because they're too brittle once they're cooked but whole they are fine so there's the other thigh bone so last time if you remember we tunnel bone the drumstick but this time I am just going to go all the way along which is a way easier method moving the meat to you not you to the meat just getting your knife in there you have your drumstick bone we do the same with this side So just open it up until you expose it. You can see it coming there, look. Take it out that end. And then just cut him round the meat. And there you have boned out chicken. Number two, which should be perfect condition. Like number one. Now, yes, it doesn't look the best just boned out. But what we're going to do, we're going to stuff it and roll it. I mean, you can put whatever you want in here. I am just going to use sage and onion stuffing. It's just a classic over here with chicken. But go for it, guys. Make whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to go and prepare my stuffing. So I said we're going to do something with the wings. So I'm just going to take that off again in stock. And you're left as long as these wings are in good condition and they're not broken I'm just going to put a nick in that joint I'm gonna get my cloth I am going to snap just like that the joints and I am going to push and they will expose the two bones so we'll take that tip off completely and that bone take the little one out for your cloth Get some purchase, just pull it straight out, then push that down. You are left with some little chicken lollipops or wing drumsticks. So we take that off. But obviously, some of these chickens, it's like they've been in a fight, some of these bones can be quite battered but again just slide it down then two bones pull the little one out there we have another fantastic wing drumstick there's one of the others I did I shall show you the other one to show you what I meant. These bones, as you can see in there, were broken. So when you go to snap it, it just won't work. So that goes into stock. But look at those. Look like a chicken lollipop. Fantastic. Right, let's stuff these birds. So, just some shop-bought sage and onion stuffing. We get our chicken. Nicely boned out. We'll put this, you know, about decent hand size. Mold it. And I'm just going to put it straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. A decent sized lump. And then I'm just going to fold in. All the sides and I think I'm going to tie this like a cushion make sure it's sealed underneath so there's a lovely shape just wash my hands in case the uh, health and safety police are watching oh yeah so when making a cushion you might have 
seen before on my lamb cushion simple we'll go across by keeping that string flat make our knot and I'm going to tie off my locking knot as well just gently bring it in because obviously we don't want to push any of that stuffing out I'm going to turn it round put one over the top again locking knot tie it off then round again just gently bring it together tie it off and our final one which will bring it all into shape just like that tie that beauty off and there you have completely boned and rolled and stuffed chicken how good does that look? So doesn't that look fantastic, eh? All nicely sealed, all nicely stuffed. Who wouldn't want that brought to the table? Fantastic. So I'll show you that again. There's our other boned out chuck. So a handful of the stuffing, mold it. And you know, you want your stuffing cold. You know, that's a lesson I've learned over years, stuffing breasts of lamb, chickens, shoulders of lamb, you know, you put it in warm, you start tying it up, and it's a nightmare. So, just get that all shaped. You can always square up the raggy ends. Give it some nice shape. Make sure underneath is all sealed. And just start fettling to give it that basic shape and we will tie that one again over the top and it's that first notch you do not want too tight as you can see a little bit of pressure on because when we add the others obviously it's going to ruch up and we don't want it snapping on us so one across its length, turn around to face us. Tie that one off. And if you wanna know how to do the butcher's knot, please check in the comments down there. I'll put the link on for the knot. You know, a lot of people are using it fantastic simple way it's the knot i was taught and my apprenticeship and it stood me well also check in the comments you'll see the link for how to cut up a chicken save yourself some money go and buy some whole chickens these chickens believe it or not i bought these these were reduced these were 250 each and i've just messed that knot up talking See, even as professionals, sometimes, sometimes, don't get it right all the time. Must concentrate, Scott. Must try harder. There we go. That's better. Get that locking knot. Tie her off. There we have our boneless whole chicken cushion, part two. So, out of those two chickens, we got those and our lovely chicken lollipops. Not bad, eh? Well, there you go, my friends. And don't they look fantastic? You know, like I said, I bought these two chickens for five pounds for the whole lot. And just look what I've got. You know, these fantastic cushions of chicken which are completely boned all meat with that fantastic sage and onion stuffing 
these lovely cute little chicken lollipops obviously I got one missing like I showed you the bones were snapped in that wing you know you won't get them out if they are but that's just the way it goes but that's the finished article not bad at all and you can do this guys just take your time you know watch the video pause it cut a bit pause it and you too can have this to put on your table and if you like what you've seen here today at the Scott Reed Project, please subscribe by clicking down there somewhere and like it and share it with your friends. You know, the channel's building. I couldn't be happier, but share it with anybody who's got a love of meat or cooking. Also, find me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. If you look up there, you'll see at the Scott Reed Project. So until next time, I know you guys would like to see me cut one of these. I know you would. Maybe next time, my friends. But until then, take care. Anybody want a lollipop? Mm.